Hello friends, we are back. I am your host Johanna and with me I have our favorite robot nerd, Leith. In this episode of KTV, we're going back in time to see the evolution of our general purpose robots. But don't worry, you're not going to need a flux capacitor where we're going, so stick around to meet our new RS-13 robot. Kawasaki started producing robots in 1968. In the late 1980s, the J-Series was introduced as Kawasaki's first general purpose robot line. At the time, the lineup was limited to four robot models, ranging in payload from 5 to 40 kg. Although limited on models, it is still a decent leap in engineering. It was the first arms to feature a spherical work envelope and internal cable routing. And both of these traits are still present in their modern day descendants. The next evolution came in the late 90s in the form of the F-Series robot. The controller gained digital technology, reducing its size from a large refrigerator to something you would see in a college dorm. And a modular design was implemented, increasing the model offering to 12, including long and extra long variants of existing payloads. The number of models increased the range of applications that the robot could process. And the modular design reduced the number of spare parts that people needed to worry about. Design improvements reduced the weight of the arm, which made the robots faster entering and exiting the work areas. The latest update came in 2008. The R-Series continued the modular design philosophy of the F-Series, while further refinement increased the range, speed, and torque on all joints. The latest generation of the R-Series was introduced in 2017 with the RS-07. In 2021, we'll introduce another model. Meet the new RS-13. This robot has even more improvements. The RS-13 has increased speed and torque on all joints and features the reduced interference zone first introduced on the RS-07. And another design change on this model is the belt drive on joint one, drastically reducing noise. My favorite part about the RS-13 is the totally enclosed construction, which provides a gap-free, easy to clean surface, no exposed motors, and an IP67 rating for the entire arm. And if you're looking to replace or upgrade your current RS-10, the RS-13 has the same floor mounting patterns. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the history of our general purpose robots and are excited about the new RS-13. And if you have questions, please contact us at ktv at kri-us.com. And please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching. Until next time.